Innovative ideas, emerging trends, industry insights. We're connecting with Conning on RIN TV. Welcome to Connecting with Conning and a closer look at investment strategies. With economic conditions less than favourable and interest rates remaining low, insurers are under pressure to increase investment income. Strategies have changed, as have investment portfolios. So what does it mean to insurance investments and where are the opportunities? Today, we're connecting to Joe Mayo, Head of Credit Research, and Marcus McGregor, Director of Master Limited Partnership Strategy, both with Conning. They join us from Conning's headquarters in Hartford. Gentlemen, welcome both to the programme. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure you. to be here. Pleasure to be here. Joe, let me start with you. We hear about the search for yield. How has that affected investment strategies of insurers? Insurance companies are dealing with the uh, search for yield in two ways. The first way is that they can go down in credit quality and take more credit risk in their investment portfolio. The second way is that they can extend uh, duration of their portfolios and take more uh, interest rate risk in their portfolios. We found that insurance companies tend to focus on the former rather than the latter. Uh, many companies also did this in the 2006-2007 timeframe prior to the financial crisis, investing in structured securities uh, that carried higher interest rates. Uh, clearly that uh, came out very poorly for them during the financial crisis. Over the past couple of years, we've seen many companies taking a similar approach, adding credit risk by investing in emerging markets, in high yield debt, and in bank loan CLOs. So Joe, what investment strategies fit this approach and how do you evaluate them? We believe that uh, dividend paying equities represent an attractive um, alternative for insurance companies in the current environment. Uh, we identified this as a strategy in 2010. At that point in time, the dividend yields on many companies were exceeding the yield on their fixed income bonds. Our approach is to identify companies that have the same fundamental characteristics that we look for when we're investing in corporate bonds. Strong financial profiles, strong free cash flow generation, and a focus on maintaining their credit quality. We also look for companies that have a history of maintaining their dividend and growing that dividend over time. Marcus, turning to you, can you give us an example of growth opportunities in the master limited partnership sector? Sure, Brian. Growth in the midstream uh, energy space, which comprises more than 70% of the uh, MLP universe, is being driven by a lack of energy infrastructure in the United States. The primary driver of the lack of infrastructure is due to a rise in unconventional drilling for natural gas and crude oil in basins that include the Bakken Shell in North Dakota and the Marcellus Shell that spans parts of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. In addition, it is estimated that more than $640 billion of investment will be needed in energy infrastructure in the U.S. over the next several decades, which we believe will be a positive for not only the MLP space, but U.S. GDP growth. What about MLPs make them a good investment opportunity for insurers? We believe it allows insurers to participate in the U.S. energy boom and the strong fundamentals that support that. With the push to lower foreign sources of uh, imports into the United States, it makes uh, sense for uh, U.S. insurers to participate by investing in MLPs. And what about tax implications? MLPs are pass-through entities and pay no tax themselves, and the tax burden is placed on their investors, which are called limited partners, which are considered shareholders. We believe this allows insurers to directly participate in the strong underlying uh, fundamentals associated with the tax deferral rates and also uh, the high uh, pre-tax dividend yields uh, associated with that. Joe, you may not be able to give investment advice, but what would you tell an institutional investor looking for opportunities these days? I would recommend to them to think holistically about their entire investment portfolio and look for opportunities that diversify the risks that currently exist in their investment portfolio. Uh, I would also encourage them to focus on the dynamics of the credit cycle there are periods of time in the credit cycle when equities represent a more attractive investment opportunity than fixed income securities. Very interesting discussion, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks very much for having us here.
If you'd like more insights into trends affecting the insurance industry, visit the Conning website and stay tuned to World Risk and Insurance News for another edition of Connecting with Conning right here on RIN TV.